Good morning and jai hind children I welcome you all in today's live class of chemistry Children we are discussing the chapter physical and chemical changes and in this chapter in previous class I have started the topic characteristics of chemical reactions is it and I have explained the two characteristics of chemical reaction that was evolution of gas and change of color so i hope that you understood those characteristics of chemical reactions now today we'll discuss some more of the characteristics of chemical reactions but before that i'm going to explain you an activity of the chapter children this activity is not the part of your activity syllabus so i'm just going to explain i will not demonstrate it okay so just go through this explanation about the activity of chapter so the objective of the activity is to prepare carbon dioxide gas in the laboratory this is our objective to prepare carbon dioxide gas in the laboratory okay children now for this activity we will take some calcium carbonate in a test tube and pour some dilute hydrochloric acid in it calcium carbonate The formula of calcium carbonate is yes, children. It's CaCO three and hydrochloric acid. This is HCl. So when they both get react together in a test tube, the effervescence of gas. in the form of bubbles will absorb means the bubbles will come and the gas will evolve okay children so during this chemical reaction the product which is going to form is calcium chloride carbon dioxide gas is coming in the form of bubbles and plus water will form So these are the products of chemical reactions. Okay, children. When calcium carbonate will react with hydrochloric acid, it will form calcium chloride, carbon dioxide, and water. Okay. Now this time this equation is not balanced, so you can balance it. Now the equation gets balanced. If we observe it with the help of a diagram. so this is the test tube in which we have mixed calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid a gas is coming out from this we will use a u shaped glass tube whose one end is in this test tube and the another end is another test tube which contains calcium hydroxide so what is here in this test tube calcium hydroxide caoh twice and what is there in this test tube calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid so the gas which is coming out from this test tube when goes in the test tube which have calcium hydroxide it's change the solution it is colorless it is just like the water 
but when this gas will mixed here the color of the solution gets changed and it becomes milky appearance it's become white okay so this indicates that the coming gas is carbon dioxide and the product which is going to form here is calcium carbonate okay children so you can write the chemical reaction which is going to occur in this second phase tube phase tube b as calcium hydroxide when reacts with carbon dioxide it forms calcium carbonate and water so these are the substances formed in phase tube b and in phase tube a what is going to form calcium chloride carbon dioxide and water okay children understood so we can say that here the lime water turns milky it's showing that the gas given off is carbon dioxide yes and the calcium carbonate which is formed is white in color and not much soluble in water okay so it forms a suspension in water and gives a milky appearance this is used as a test for carbon dioxide we can use this calcium hydroxide to test the carbon dioxide if it's going to turn in milky appearance so we can say that the gas is carbon dioxide and if it's not going to turn so we can say that the gas is not carbon dioxide okay now just remove this test tube keep from here okay and place a lighted candle at the mouth of the tube if we place a lighted candle so this flame of the candle will get extinguished this also shows that the coming gas is carbon dioxide okay children so you can remove the test tube containing lime water and direct the end of the delivery tube towards the lighted candle get it so the candle's flame gets extinguished this shows that the coming gas is carbon dioxide now you can prepare the carbon dioxide gas at your home also by yourself by using a simple chemical reaction okay children so how you can prepare carbon dioxide gas at your home so by taking the two substances which is very common the first one is baking soda and second one is vinegar baking soda its chemical formula is nacho nacho3 when this baking soda get mixed in vinegar the chemical formula of vinegar is ch3 cooh okay children so when these two common substances gets mixed together they form carbon dioxide gas okay so you can test it by your at your home also by yourself get it children so you can prepare the carbon dioxide also by yourself now i hope that you understood this activity in which we shown that how carbon dioxide gas can be formed now come to the next topic the characteristics of chemical reactions and the third characteristic is formation of precipitate
formation of precipitate okay children now when two chemicals in solution form react okay and an insoluble substance is formed it settles down as a precipitate so the formation of a precipitate is a in a chemical reaction is shown by an arrow which is pointing downwards like this okay children so simply we can say that precipitate are the substance which gets settles down at the bottom of a test tube when a chemical reaction is going to occur and that chemical reaction is going to occur between the chemicals which are in the form of solution not in the form of solid okay so when the two solution react together so after reaction they are going to form an insoluble substance and it gets settles down at the bottom so that substance is known as simply precipitate and shown by pointing downward arrow okay now take some example the first example is when an aqueous solution of iron chloride is mixed with ammonium hydroxide iron chloride okay children now the formula is fecl3 so when this is going to mix or react with ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide its formula is nh4oh when they both get react together they form a precipitate which is brown in color okay and that precipitate is iron hydroxide iron hydroxide will form and its formula is feoh whole yes facts this is the precipitate which form and this precipitate is what in color yes it is brown in color and we can show it by pointing downward and along with this one more substance will form in this reaction and that is ammonium chloride NH4Cl. Okay, so this is the chemical equation. Now we can balance it as the three molecules of ammonium hydroxide and the three molecules of ammonium chloride. Now this equation gets balanced. Okay, children. So this is an example in which we are going to show that the formation of a precipitate. Okay. Now take another example. next example when hydrogen sulfide gas is passed into the blue color solution of copper sulfate yes copper sulfate solution it is blue in color and the formula is cuso4 so when in this copper sulfate solution we are going to pass hydrogen sulfide gas okay children its formula is h2s hydrogen sulfide so we will get a precipitate which is black in color and that precipitate is copper sulfide copper sulfide it is a precipitate so we can show it by an arrow which points downwards and along with this precipitate we will get the yes sulfuric acid also
H2SO4. So this is the chemical reaction in which a black precipitate, a copper sulfide forms when copper sulfate solution which is blue in color gets react with hydrogen sulfide gas. Okay children. So these are the example in which we have shown that the formation of precipitate during the chemical reactions. Now come to the next property or next characteristic of chemical reactions and that is changes in energy. Changes in energy. Children, in chemical reaction, almost all reactions, they are accompanied by energy changes. Okay. And during the reaction, energy usually in the form of heat. It may be released or it may be absorbed. Okay. So, accordingly, there are two types of chemical reaction. Okay. So, we can say that on the basis of change in energy, which is in the form of heat, the chemical reactions can be categorized in two ways. The first one is the reaction in which energy is produced or evolved and the second in which the energy is absorbed. So the names of these reactions are exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions. Ok children, so come to the first exothermic Reaction. In exothermic reaction, what happened? The reactions which accompanied with the release of heat. Okay, and they are called exothermic reactions. And this release of heat is shown by writing plus heat. We can write like this in front of that chemical equation. Okay, so that will show the this is the example of exothermic reaction because heat is going to evolve. Get it, children? Now take some example of it also. So remember that when the burning process occurs, so they produce heat, is it? So you can say that all the burning reactions that occurs in all kind of combustible substances are the example of exothermic reactions. Okay, so when carbon burns in the presence of oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide gas and plus heat. Okay, heat is produced. So, this is the example of exothermic reaction. Is it children? Now, the another example is when the water is added to quicklime. The quicklime is known as calcium oxide. CaO. This is calcium oxide. Okay, so when this calcium oxide reacts with water, it forms calcium hydroxide. Okay, and heat is released. So we can see that this chemical reaction is also the example of yes, exothermic reaction. Okay, children. So these are the reactions, these are the examples of exothermic reactions because in these both the reactions heat are going to produce. Okay, children. Now come to the second that is endothermic reaction. endothermic reaction just opposite to exothermic as in exothermic heat was produced so here what will happen heat will absorb okay so the reactions that accompanied with absorption of heat are called endothermic reaction 
Okay, children. And the absorption of heat is shown by writing yes minus. As here we have written the plus heat, so we will write here minus heat. So this will show the endothermic reaction. Okay. Now just see the example. The example when we are going to yes heat the carbon and sulfur. Carbon and sulfur. When they both are going to heat it together, they will form a new product that is yes carbon disulfide CS2. What is this children? This is carbon disulfide. Okay. And during this chemical equation, what happened? Heat was involved. Heat was absorbed. So we can write here minus heat. Okay, get it? So this is the example of endothermic reaction. Another example. When nitrogen and oxygen, they both are heated together. Nitrogen and oxygen. Okay, children, when they both are going to heat it together, they will form nitric oxide. Nitric oxide, NO. It will form in the form of gas. And heat are absorbed. So we can see that it is also an example of. Yes, endothermic reaction. No. No, this is balanced. Okay, children. So, energy in other forms such as light and sound is also evolved in some reactions. In most of the reactions, energy is involved, either produced or absorbed in the form of heat. But in some reaction, this energy can be evolved in the form of yes sound and light for example the explosion of firecracker is it you must have observed when the firecracker uh, explode they produce heat energy they produce light energy as well as they also produce sound energy okay children so this is also the example of yes exothermic reaction understood children this Characteristic. Now come to the next characteristic of yes chemical reaction. The next characteristic is change of state. Change of state is also one of the characteristic of chemical reaction because in some chemical reactions there is a change in physical state of the reactants and the products. Okay, to show that change of state or states for solid, for liquid, or for gas, and for aqueous, they are written in front of it in short form as for solid. We are going to write small s. For liquid, we are going to write small l. And for gas, small g. And for aqueous, aq. So they are written after the symbols or formula of the reactants and the products. Okay, so this shows that the state of the substance are going to change either from solid to liquid or from liquid to gas or from solid to aqueous, like that. Okay, children. Now, when an electric current is passed through water, okay, in which a little sulfuric acid has been added, so it gives hydrogen and oxygen gases, and the water is liquid, but hydrogen and oxygen are gases. So the reactants 
is in liquid state and the products are in gaseous state is it we can write it as when the water which is in liquid state and when electric current passed through it so we are going to get the two substance that is hydrogen gas and yes oxygen gas so we are going to write a small g in bracket because they are going to produce in the form of gas is it clear okay and we can balance it like this so this is a balanced chemical reaction in which a substance which is in liquid form after the reaction is going to change in gases okay now when hydrogen burns in oxygen another example of the same one is when hydrogen is going to burns in oxygen the water is formed just reverse that it form water and water will form in the form of which state in liquid state and the hydrogen and oxygen are in gases okay children so here the changes are going to occur from gases state to liquid state okay so they both have the example of the chemical equation in which the states are going to change okay children so these are the characteristics of chemical reactions and i hope that you understood these all characteristics so please go through all the chemical reactions again practice it okay children to write now come to the next topic of the chapter and the next topic is types of chemical reactions types of chemical reactions there are different types of chemical reactions children so we will discuss one by one about these types of chemical reaction okay because certain patterns are observed in chemical reactions and the chemical reactions are therefore good according to these patterns these set of patterns and this makes the study of reactions easier in the same way as the classification of plants or animals makes their study easier is it as we are going to study about plants and animals on the basis of their grouping on the basis of their characteristic features so just like that here we are also going to group the chemical reactions on the basis of their features okay so by using these patterns we can predict the products formed in a large number of reactions and some important types of chemical reactions are as the first one is combination reaction the first type of chemical reaction is children yes combination reaction is it now when a compound is formed from its elements or from simpler substances the reaction is called combination as the word is going to indicate that combination means that when the two or more than two simpler substance combine together to form the compound okay so such reactions are known as combination reaction just like that with a and b they both are combined together and form a new compound that is ab so we can say that this is the kind of combination reaction is it children now take some example of combination reaction so the first example is the magnesium which reacts with oxygen on heating 
okay so it form magnesium oxide the formula of magnesium is yes it's mg and when this magnesium is going to react with oxygen so what will happen they both combine together and forms magnesium oxide and now it gets balanced okay children in this reaction what happens magnesium and oxygen they both are different elements and in this chemical reaction by heating both of them they both get combined together and form the compound magnesium oxide so we can categorize it as a combination reaction okay as you can see the above reaction is also a combination reaction and this two step method involving burning of a metal to form metal oxide okay this will happen in all the kind of metals and then dissolving the oxide in water to form a hydroxide is used to prepare a base okay when this oxide get dissolved in water so what we will get we will get the hydroxide of that metal and that hydroxide is used to test prepare a base clear children now the next example is when nitrogen reacts with hydrogen nitrogen reacts with hydrogen it forms to get combined together and forms yes ammonia nh3 okay and now it gets balanced and this ammonia will form in the form of gas okay so in this reaction what happens the two different substances elements like nitrogen and hydrogen they both react together and while reacting they both get combined and form a new product a new compound that is ammonia so we can say that it is also an example of combination reaction okay children understood so this one is the first type of chemical reaction combination reaction now we will discuss some more types of chemical reaction in next class so i hope that you understood today's topic which we have discussed thank you and have a nice day children